next stop is going to be Windsor Ruins, and after that, I'll be headed down to Natchez, and from Natchez, I'll be heading down to New Orleans. So, I hope you guys enjoy some of the sights that we get to see today, and I'll be bringing you along, learning some of the history, and seeing some of the sights today. That little spot, Sunken Trace, that was apparently a section of the Natchez Trace that was walked back in the day. And uh, yeah, I mean, after walking that little, I mean, it was like a 16th of a mile trail through like a little uh, hollow, I guess as they call it. Um, the sign says that people were walking over 500 miles. I couldn't imagine walking 500 miles in those sort of conditions. Uh, just the bugs and the heat and the humidity and you having to deal with that with, uh, you know, primitive supplies and injuries and stuff like that. Uh, I imagine that that could spell death pretty easily. So, that was actually a pretty cool little stop, even though it was just a short section of trail. All right, well, I have arrived here to the Windsor Ruins. As you can see behind me, I'm going to walk around and uh, check this place out a little bit. I uh, came through this hole in the fence right here. I was told by some local guys that you can come back here because the fence is open, um, but I'm going to be very careful in here because it looks like this would be a really good, easy, uh, really good place to get injured. So, anyway, I'm gonna wander around and check it out. Well, those are actually really cool. The architecture on these things are amazing. And to think these were built in the 1800s in Mississippi, and it looks like something that was built in Rome or something. Uh, I believe these are Corinthian, 
but I'm going to go over to the sign over there and do a little bit of reading about it, and uh, let's see if we can't uh, learn a little bit of history about this place. All right, well, that's Windsor Ruins. Turns out it's uh, Roman and Gothic. Very interesting. I, uh, I thought I read somewhere that it was Corinthian, but uh, I guess maybe I'm, I was mistaken. However, this place is pretty cool. The, uh, the architecture here is unlike anything I've ever seen in person. And uh, I think for being in the middle of Mississippi, this place is probably way ahead of its time and uh or maybe even behind its time who knows the uh the decisions made to build something of this grand scale is pretty amazing hmm. all right let's move on okay we are here at the mount locust historical inn let's uh go on in and check it out Mount Locust Se Slave Cemetery. Before you is the Mount Locust Sla Slave Cemetery. Only one unmarked stone remains. The names of persons known to be buried here are listed below. Wow. Really enjoy seeing history like this. Dark as it may be, Still very interesting. I only saw the one marker. Uh, the rest have probably been relocated 
It did say only one has yet to be identified, so perhaps the other bodies have been moved to family plots or something, um, which is good. But uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting wandering around looking at this and uh, seeing the little marker stone covered in coins. Um, I'll have to look up the history behind putting coins on the headstone. I feel like I know what the reason is, but I don't want to guess and be wrong. So anyway, I'll be looking that up later. All right, well, that's it for Mount Locust. We had a pretty good look around, and uh, now we're gonna hop back on the Natchez Trace and head down towards Natchez, unless we find something cool along the way. <laughs> All right, here we go. I am now here at the site of Emerald Mound. I stopped here along the Natchez Trace to check this out they have been talking about indian mounds and i didn't really know what the heck they were talking about and apparently they are temples essentially um kind of like your pyramids or whatever um so anyway i'm here gonna check this out and uh read about some of the history emerald mound Covering roughly eight acres, Emerald Mound is the second largest Mississippian mound north of Mexico. The main platform was constructed in three stages beginning circa AD 1350. Archaeological excavations have confirmed that the first and second stages at least had at least two secondary mounds with buildings on their summits. During the final stage of mound construction, the secondary mounds at either end were enlarged and at least six additional mounds were constructed along the perimeter of the platform. Interesting. Emerald Mound before you is the second largest temple mound in the United States. Only Monk's Mound in Chacoe, Illinois is larger. This eight acre mound constructed from a natural hill was built and used from about 1300 to 1600 by the Mississippi Mississippians, ancestors of the Natchez Indians. Unlike dome shaped mounds constructed only for burials, emerald mounds supported temples, ceremonial structures, and burials of a complex society's civic and religious leaders. Well, that's it for uh, Emerald Mound. 
it uh, it's very interesting to learn a little bit more of the backstory of the native peoples around here and uh, you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit but looking at this gigantic mound and what used to be on it uh, as far as structures is pretty amazing to be put together by just a bunch of people with primitive tools you know it's uh it's one of those amazing feats of human engineering especially primitive human engineering that uh obviously has st stood the test of time so yeah really interesting anyway now we are actually off to natchez because there's only about six more miles before we get there or eight more miles or something like that so we're gonna head down there now all right guys well that is it for the natchez trace trail and uh we got to see some pretty cool stuff along the way and right now i'm down in natchez right next to the Mississippi River. And uh, from here, I'm gonna be headed down to New Orleans. Gonna go check that out. Probably won't make a video on that uh, just because New Orleans is a place that a lot of people have been. But uh, anyway, wanted to show you guys the trace and uh, all, some cool stops along the way. And uh, if you guys haven't yet, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.